Hey guys, it is XP back with another Warhammer videos. And I've just finished my little Impulsor. Let's get right into it. Of course, painted in my custom chapter color scheme. It is a Dark Angel successor. Just place it as Dark Angel, so of course, red. Well, majority black with a bit of red accent here and there, along with silver. And the quick spoon. Just a couple of decals, of course, the chapter icon. Just 30k black angels, I mean dark angels in it. And of course, the big number one. It's just a regular impulsor. I just print, 3D printed some parts to convert it and have the black. Uh, not the black, the back closed. I don't want it the half open as the regular model. It is entirely magnetized as well, so the weapon options and the polar copulars are all removable. So let's show that first. Of course, both of the side weapons are can move in and out like that. It can spin. Just per the regular kit and let's take it this way the front the gun is magnetized as well so I can change it in the future if I would get something new just printed them out the stubber up and down of course the copula itself moves and I just can remove it it's not glued down or anything it's just there but the hatch are glued down I don't want any <laughs> cat looking Marine popping his head off to get blown to bits. Of course, this has as well all the lenses. Let's bring it a little closer. All the all all the lenses are picked out. Cameras and such. There. The windows, engines in the back, lights. That's him. Drop it down. Of course, same with this side. The antenna magnetized for ease of transport. <laughs> Transporting to transport. So, yeah, just fix it a little bit crooked. This one as well. There it is. The entire back assembly can be removed. Like so. Let me bring in all of it accessories. Here they are, all the weapon option for the back. Of course, the close hatch, they are all the what you call it conversion three bits are of the rhino size, so all the rhino's door fits, and of course this is for that when none of the weapon option are in use do a little bit of the marble effect on it it's just pop on like that it's entirely friction fit and gravity so it isn't is not magnetized at all it's just held down by friction and gravity so if i want it out i just flip it down it just popped up so this is the mount for the weapon option it is the same size as the Predator one, I believe. So if I were to get a Predator, I could just pop it on and make the Impulsor a Gladiator. Like that, just fit that in. Like so. Of course, you've seen it before, the Missile Array. Of course, the three type Missile, the Frag Crack and the Anti-Air one. This is an adapter piece to fit onto the Predator mount. So magnetize, just pop that on. The front comes off. The magnet is a bit strong. 4mm one. And the Sky Talon Array or the something can fit on. Of course, let me focus that in for you. The lens picked out in gloss. Very cool. Let's just pop that down on the thing. Bring that in closer. Just spin it around like that. And then 
the entire thing and popped up for another piece for the comms array calling down over the bombardment strats of course if not you could just pop that off also magnetize though you can get away with it the piece is a bit uh, i mean it can be friction fit from the part itself you don't need to magnetize but i got the magnet so i just do it anyways and here's the ray dome for 5 plus involve the best option i'd say you don't just want to get your guys in not have them die in disembarkation so that's what it's on try the ray dome on there it is a little teeny tiny bit ray dome i am thinking of printing out an entire like command structure for the giant radome like the Orlando Raider Excelsior or the command rhino what you call it thing so yeah that's it let's try and fix this thing on though let's see what it's like yeah hold that on so that's it yeah pretty cool looking let's say took a bit of time because I literally went in and picked out all the edge highlights so yeah that's it that is that and that's it for this impulsor or soon to be gladiator tank you know you know so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and go like the video, subscribe if you want to for future videos, of course, and visit me in my other social medias, Facebook, Instagram. Until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and goodbye.